Guys, look, yet another BHMS building. Uh, they have uh, several all over the city. And they're in the center. They're they are not... in the heart of yeah. the city. Yeah. And this is number one touristic city in the country, you see? So this hall can be your classroom. As you can see, they have a royal piano. This is an example of a standard uh, room here. So the employers are really grading the students in the final year. Of course, we have a lot of fun here at BHMS and our partners have fun with the students' internship as well. That's the most important thing. But the students need to be ready and willing to learn. You can apply for a, um, a scholarship. It's not an aid, but a good um, discount. Our teacher has been made to do the version of an app that they actually use in hotels. Magdi learned the most important Russian word. Uh, well, the, this situation, it's much easier to reach a certain position, um, much, much faster. So many things. Oh, all these are classrooms? Yeah. Oh, the see BHMS, BHMS, BHMS. Ah. We had the whole mafia here. Yeah. <laughs> mafia, and, yeah. And, and the <laughs> <laughs> so, so these are two buildings. We're going to visit everything, right? Nice. And that is city campus. This is accommodation for about uh, 250 students. Yeah. Guys, look, this is another BHMS building. They have uh, several around the city. And um, this uh, historical building right off there, that one is a uh, BHMS. And as you can see, you have uh, palaces, castles, mansions, uh, the river, the sun over on that side. Such a beauty all around. How many buildings you have in total? Four. Four in, in the city? Four in the city. All, all in the city, city, city all. center. Yeah. Very nice. We, th we thought we were going to move to another big building, yeah. but, but it would be outside. In certain cities. And then we did a survey, yeah. asked the students, shall we move to a big building yeah. outside Lucerne or shall we stay here? Said, no, 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 stay here. Yeah. We like it here. Yeah. And yet another building in the very center. I'm, by the way, staying in a hotel five minutes uh, from uh, here, and the train station is in ten minutes. And the train station is just like just ten minutes. Ten minutes away. Yeah. To, to Paris, to Milano. <laughs> everywhere you want. To everywhere. You can go anywhere you want. Paris, Milan, everything's nearby. And how beautiful it's here. There are three main directions you can study in BHMS hospitality management, business management, and culinary arts. During this whole episode, we'll learn about all the facilities, buildings, personnel, and details about starting. As a cherry on top, I've saved the culinary arts for the end of the video, for this program is conducted in an incredible historical building that you're going to see. I also want to bring your attention to the fact that every BHMS program combines theory and practical skills. They may include internships, factory tours and other practical lessons to prepare students for real tasks. The features of the programs, including their length, uh, the contents of the course and the necessary conditions, are constantly being perfected to match the industry needs. For any questions you have, you can always contact our representatives on our website smaps.com for the most up-to-date and detailed information. Nevertheless, in this video, I'll try to show you the life of BHMS. We offer a range of hospitality, global and culinary programs, bachelor and master's level. And one of the great things about the study programs at BHMS is that you are focusing on study for six months and then you get to go to internship where you put it all into practice, you get fantastic work experience, you network in the local communities, work on your language skills, and then you come back to the school and you do it all over again. So for the bachelor's programs, this goes for three years and it means really that the graduates are super employable when they finish. Um, most of our students will want to do an internship because they come from a huge range of different countries and it's really an opportunity to get experience and working in a different culture, in a different country 
and the reputation of Switzerland is pretty high, so having that on your CV, again, just adds a lot of value. We are here to support the students to find the correct, right place for the students. We are connected to all uh, four different parts in Switzerland. We work in German, French, Italian, Romance part. And of course, our main business is in hospitality. We can offer several uh, different opportunities. After three years in Switzerland, the student has already 18 months practical internship experience. And afterwards, to do an internship for around one year, either in USA, in Dubai, or in the Maldives, they have a lot of their work experience and we are connected, we can say, to the whole world. The first two years were mainly studying hospitality management because um, on the third year it um, diverges. You either go to global business or you continue studying hospitality management. I chose uh, the global business. For the first two years I've had big hospitality management to shape the general understanding of the hotel business, the restaurant business, gastronomy. During this uh, third year we're having an in-depth study of uh, business, that is understanding of internationalization, uh, the structure of business itself, how to do startups, um, business analysis, etc. So it goes up to startups. Yeah. Not just how to work in the hotel business. Yeah, yeah. Did you have an internship yet? Yes, I already had it um, twice. My first one was at Hilton Garden Inn in Switzerland at a front office position. Here in Lutheran or... Uh, no, it was near Zurich in uh, Spreitenbach. It's um, 10 kilometers from Zurich. My second internship was at Nautel, that's right by the airport. -y. Airport? I'm starting to forget Russian words. I know, right? <laughs> Well, and uh, now I'm going through my third internship. I'm having an interview next week at um, IBIS for a back office position this time. Since now it's um, in depth uh, business, I want something in the office. This big class um, belong to the University of um, uh, Lucerne where the, the building and um, the University of Lucerne gave uh, this historical building to BHMS. And it's so from here you get uh, that view of the river, the palaces, um, castles and all the city center and beauty of Lucerne. And this historical building is called uh, the Walls of Lucerne, as uh, Magdis told me, the gates from which the old town uh, begins. A little further than 500 meters, uh, the pedestrian area of uh, Lucerne begins. Um, uh, so these walls uh, for which you can get a tour, you can walk um, along uh, all these walls, uh, the whole castle. It's uh, something similar to the Kremlin in Moscow. Uh, this wall is, is just like that. It's it's kind of a, a kind of a local Kremlin. Guys, look at the screen. Uh, this is the student's lounge where they uh, hang out. Um, we can see here what's going on. If you're starting for um, baccalaureate, uh, you can apply for a master's and you can apply for a um, scholarship. It's not a grant, but a good option for this account. Uh, so if you continue your studying, it's a good additional option. The student uh, counselor gives us uh, students um, an advice on where to apply, what to do, where to work. Um, so uh, here in the campus they have um, some um, advisors, counselors, helpers. I'm basically the first contact whenever students have a problem. It doesn't matter if it's heartbreak, academic, with the internship, with a roommate, whatever they have, I'm the first one. And if I'm not the one who can help them, I can guide them to Norbert or to Miss Heather. To, to find a solution for their specific area. But the first person of contact is me. But it's also, I drive them to the hospital when they're sick, uh, I make sure they have the follow-up appointments, I help them to go to the police when something is stolen, um, those kind of things. Wherever they're lost in this country because they don't speak the language. For the first two years, a class um, is uh, five hours long, and uh, once, once a week. 
for example, we have German for five hours, and next it will be in a week also for five hours. So the difference from our system is uh, that you have a one lesson for the whole day. Yeah, you don't have uh, two classes in one day. You can get that on the third uh, year because it's uh, shortened from five hours to three hours. Can you tell uh, what um, were the coolest classes uh, that you've had and, uh, and why? I um, really loved uh, the accounting, we've had um, a really good teacher, I really like uh, all those accounts and such, uh, and I also pick um, business management because uh, we were creating a business plan. We came up with an idea and developed it from start to finish. We in fact had a finished product uh, we could pitch to investors. We're continuing our tour of the main building. Um, interviews uh, happen here because uh, they have offices of uh, the BHMS team, um, their representatives. Um, Starbucks, you've got it. Uh, that's where we were talking with these uh, students. Uh, there's another lounge in here. Um, also quite... Um, areas for studying and their own Starbucks. The river, the length of it is 158 kilometers, the fourth largest river in Switzerland. That's pretty neat. Every class uh, has a name, a name of a river. There is info on the river, like its length. Um, you're walking around the classrooms and um, simultaneously memorizing some rivers, some geographical data. So simple and yet so cool, right? <laughs> This is an example of a um, standard room in the main building, the reception of which we just came uh, through. So, so this is the main building. This is the main building. So this is the reception. This is the, the heart of operation. Yeah. Um, students uh, po post. Uh, we get sick. Uh, insurance. Uh, everything is ready. Everything. Yeah. It's 24-hour service. Yes. Uh, this door is closed at some stage. Yeah. And students, they can open it up with their card only. Yeah. For security reasons. Nice. Lifts are operating only with their, with their cards. We walk out on the balcony and see the building where we have been, where we had the lesson on e-commerce with the professor. You can see it across the river, as well as you can see the river itself from the balcony and the walls. So this is the very center and that's the view you get. Do you do like uh, uh, trials for the young ones, uh, maybe like a summer camps or? Yeah, we have a great summer program for two weeks in July, where I would totally recommend anybody who's thinking of coming to Switzerland for any kind of study, um, but looking at one of the BHMS programs in particular, come and try it. Experience Lucerne and we give you a real mixture of some hospitality stuff, some business stuff, a little bit of culinary stuff, great excursions, fun kind of projects to work on together. Um, and it's really, I wish I was that age again, because it's a really cool thing that they, that they do. And you also get these um, lockers, which is a very simple, but um, it's a very right uh, thing uh, to do. There are some students who don't uh, live on the um, campus, but come from um, elsewhere and uh, need to, to leave some things, um, not to carry them around. And you can just uh, drop um, them off here in a locker and you're free to go. Simple, elementary, but important. I have German, uh, then consumer, consumer marketing, marketing organizational behavior, and um, uh, e wine class. class. About wine. Yeah. You drink wine there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, what do you study in wine class? Uh, we um, uh, analyze, uh, evaluate, uh, um, try, look, and uh, write an analysis. They told me that some of um, the students have a um, video project. 
Yeah, so in consumer marketing, consumer marketing, for example, uh, they gave us a task so to go to a, a restaurant or a cafe and uh, do survey questions, questions. Uh, ask uh, questions and um, uh, record a video audio, and audio, audio like yeah. I'm doing right now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. then yeah. present yeah. it in the class. Here's, by the way, the American uh, Culinary Federation. This is a list uh, of um, BHMS um, partner schools. And uh, the American Culinary Federation are the two American women who have arrived here two days ago to evaluate uh, BHMS. And they gave uh, their um, highest uh, praises to the educational institution. It's wonderful. We look at absolutely everything here and we have found everything to be top notch. Yeah. Um, it's the most immaculate school that we've seen in culinary ever. And the instructors are top notch. And another building where the. Um, you have uh, classes and offices in Yeah, yeah. Where the um, classes and um, offices. Here is a big Chamas sign. They've got not the whole building, but a part uh, of it. Everything's close uh, together on the tower tree, uh, every building is a minute or two from another. So we're going up? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lift. Isn't that красиво? Очень красиво. Huh? Красота. We went up on that uh, funicular and we're now in the mansion that I filmed from below. Look how walkable, as they say, Lucerne is, uh, meaning you could go around it on foot. Um, that's the campus, uh, this one building, that's another, and over there by the lake, uh, this uh, the river, and uh, that's the lake. You can see it, right? And here, look, um, you can see the flag there, let me show you. Right here is the train station. Station to campus is 10 minutes. Then you can cross uh, and walk over there to the lake site. That is uh, the building on the side of the lake. And um, and there is uh, the lake itself, with the incredibly beautiful mountains. <laughs> it's very nice. Magdi told me that this Ravella, a Swiss drink, um, is um, actually made uh, made from milk. It's hard to believe, uh, but uh, that's uh, how it is. Tastes uh, like something between um, a lemonade, uh, a lemonade and uh, Red Bull. It may seem that we're lying to you and actually drinking beer, but no, it's cider, also no. Yeah, really good. And the question is, uh, do you leave uh, tips uh, to a waiter in Switzerland? How do they do? Magdi told me it's at your discretion, um, so this is not included here in many places. Um, yeah, in many places it's not included. I've been to the pizzeria, it's not included. We've been to this place now, also not included. So you decide this. He said, usually we may live uh, 10%. If you're in good mood, uh, drank a lot, you can live up to 20%. But that's up to you. So if you've uh, paid with a credit card, you can just um, leave. Uh, and it doesn't mean that you necessarily, as you must, uh, have to leave uh, something for a waiter. Um, so that's it. Switzerland is one of the few countries so where you can uh, swim in every lake. People swim here in summer and in winter. 
they have their own extreme lovers who like to swim in winter. This is the HMS restaurant where the guys eat um, and the personal works and trains um, as well here. So that's their power place. Here they do service classes. That is when we train uh, how to carry stuff, um, usually during the first year before the first internship. Um, so, um, we you do doing hotel, uh, hotel management, management here business or business or what? Both of those uh, two programs. For the first two years, uh, everybody has the same program, and on the third, you can choose uh, either business or hotel management. During the second year, we have an in depth uh, study on how reception in the hotel work, um, how the purchases for the hotel work, uh, back offices, um, and um, on the third year, everyone focuses on what they will need. Next. During the first year, the most interesting was probably the service class, with the, all the nuances of how the fine dining restaurant works and uh, how to work um, on a bar. Um, during the second year, it was probably the small business management. We discussed uh, how to come up with an idea for a business, how to write a business plan. On the third year, we organized an event ourselves um, for the past two years of graduates. That's uh, this year's graduates, and uh, they will have a party this year, and we're organizing a party for 300 people. Wow. Swiss uh, service is considered um, the best in the world. Can you confirm or deny it? Well, we work here and in America, and uh, I'd say that uh, the standards here are higher. Uh, and uh, this covers not only the kitchen, I mean, cooking standards, but uh, the service itself, the very strict standards from how the fork is fitted to how you carry away the plate when the serving is finished. So the standards really are very high and people expect a lot when they take you on a job, so I understand why people say that it's the best service in the world. Thank you. Here in the kitchen you have... Um, Professors, chefs, students. Hello. Hi. My name is Igor. 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 Yeah. Nice. And this is a uh, campus. We came in from the back door because we parked there, and it's uh, the like site campus, um, a uh, historical building. I'll show you as I'm getting outside. And this is how it looks like. Yeah, very beautiful. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, public holiday, we have the brunch here, also a uh, dinner, and, and also term break. And at what uh, year? They started from the first year of study? First year, but my class for the advanced class is second year. The rooms with Sin are uh, over there, and uh, this is yet another lounge, and um, you can walk up from that beautiful hall, you can get into this lounge, uh, with, as you can see, this uh, little bar, and this space is um, given for students to throw parties and have fun their own party place cold kitchen hot kitchen all the latest technologies guys are cooking octopi the other different stuff um, whatever you wish this is a separate place for working with chocolate for chocolate products and uh, baking and chocolate a whole separate kitchen for that here. Tell us about your success story. Uh, they say you took some cool internship. In my last um, internship, I worked at Mandarin Oriental, which had just opened. It um, was an experience um, of everything, of opening a hotel. As far as I know, in our university, not so many people had even saw that opportunity to get such cool experience, but I got lucky. You worked right from the opening on the opening of the hotel. Yeah, from the opening, the very beginning, we were opening all the restaurants, so we were 
choosing warehouses for storing stuff, uh, we composed all the standards, um, so it was a cool experience even though I was an intern, but the work and the attitude felt like on a higher level. Is this your only experience like that, or are you planning on moving forward? No, I had that experience in the beginning, but after I finished my internship, I went uh, to work there on a permanent basis under the Young Professional Program, and um, now I work as a commis sommelier. I managed to find an um, internship in a quite interesting place. It's not um, often uh, students go to work there. I went to Zemat. It is one of uh, Switzerland's tourist spots, um, and um, I had worked there for a summer season and uh, quite successful. It's a great um, alternative for internship uh, because they don't really require you to have good German or French. There is a lot of uh, foreigners who so need English. It's more than possible to find an internship there at a good position, but it's um, a long ride. Starting here at Hospitality and Business Management School, you're not so limited to just hotel work, are you? Yeah, it depends on the person and their desire to find a certain job, uh, we can, for example, go to Google or Chanel or whatever. Because the truth is, uh, services needed everywhere, everyone has, for example, their retail shops and so on. You can always go work in sales at a store or sell uh, luxury Rolex watches and such. Or you can go work in HR, which we also study here, marketing or whatever. It depends on the person, their skills and their desire to find something. I a lecture hall and uh, right next to it uh, is this beautiful hall where um, they're now practicing serving. Serving of all kinds and in the evening they'll have a big banquet. Uh, so lectures over here and over there practice right away, and not just any practice but in that very beautiful hall. So this hall can be your classroom. They have, as you can see, a royal piano for you, another classroom, and then it uh, goes like this and there is that beautiful amazing hall upstairs are the rooms where they live Over the course of three years, students acquire all the fundamental skills necessary for working in the best restaurants in the world, in one of the fastest growing industries. BHMS is located in Lucerne, at the heart of Switzerland, which, just like its neighbors France and Italy, has incredible culinary traditions. During training, those culinary traditions and skills come together, creating a unique and inspiring educational experience. <laughs> 